very good morning to my friends my viewers assalamu alaikum uh, well guys uh, this uh, might be probably my last uh, vlog in istanbul and before i leave istanbul i'm leaving tonight uh, but i have to reach the airport by 5 pm so uh, just a few more hours left in istanbul and uh, before i leave istanbul i would like to share my thoughts my views on istanbul uh, on my hotel stay and uh, one thing i would like to make clear that uh, there is this is not a promotion uh, the hotel has not given me anything in return for this promotion because as you know that i am a new blogger and nobody would you know uh, definitely nobody would support a new blogger but whatever i am going to say it's go i'm going to say it from my heart and i hope that you would also believe in me trust me that whatever i am going to say it's going to be the truth and nothing but the truth i don't have any personal motives my motive is only to share my blogs and help those people who would like to visit istanbul and uh, learn from my experiences right okay i reached uh, istanbul probably on the 3rd or 4th of april and uh, it was uh, uh, i had reached the airport at around 6 7 uh, pm and uh, i had taken an airport transfer through the hotel which costed me around 50 euros but uh, it was a very big luxurious van and i had a lot of uh, baggages as i was uh, coming back from us san francisco with a lot of uh, baggage and i had stayed uh, for about a month in san francisco so i could not afford to you know uh, try to take public transport and get harassed late in the night without knowing a head or tail of istanbul because this was my first visit so i paid 50 euros but it was a very comfortable journey right okay now i reached the hotel i checked in i put my baggage and i had to have dinner my wife was very tired so i just went very close by got a doner kebab and you know uh, well that's it so first day was just like that okay second day i started exploring the neighborhood of my hotel the name of my hotel is banker hen banker hen is situated very close to galata tower and definitely it is a little high up in the hills but the location is so good uh fr from near the galata bridge uh if you just have to walk upstairs for maybe uh four five minutes up the stairs you reach the banker hen hotel and from the banker hen hotel if you want to go to galata it's another maybe five minutes of steep walk but that's it once you reach galata that's almost the highest point uh of this part of the town and from there if you want up till taksim it's another 25 minutes or 30 minutes of a leisurely walk you know you just look around shops and uh, you can even take a tram which is very cheap so once you reach uh, galata then it's very easy uh to walk around and there is no slope and nothing you know so it's and it's the most lively part of istanbul so the advantage of this hotel was that it was very close to galata and just if i walk few minutes down the steps i would come exactly to uh, or almost near the galata bridge and from there if i walk for another 20 minutes i will be in the fatih district or you can say eminonu where there are the metros where are the all the beautiful places uh, which are tourist attractions like blue mosque sultan ahmed hagia sophia and grand bazaar egyptian bazaar spice bazaar you name it it's, it's on that side so from my hotel few minutes down and then walk the galata bridge and up till eminonu it it will take you 20 25 minutes max and the walk is so good passing through the galata bridge you know you wouldn't you wouldn't even know where the time is gone you know 
so many people people are fishing you look on through the galada <clears throat> bridge you can see the bosphorus on both the sides lots of ferries and i mean it's so beautiful that that 20 minutes walk is just like fun you know okay now let me tell you something about my hotel <clears throat> Uh, my hotel costed me about uh, around 532 uh, US dollars for 5 nights. It comes up to about 105, maybe 110 dollars per night uh, with the taxes and everything included. The hotel is just excellent. The staff out here at the reception, the manager, her name is uh, Mrs. Zainab, uh, they are very cooperative. And uh, um, I had an impression that people wouldn't understand English, uh, wouldn't communicate properly with us. But each and every staff, there were about four or five people in the front desk. Every day, night, day, night, you know, people used to change. All of them knew English. And they used to, they were very friendly, very helpful. And uh, I did not have any problem in communication. Okay, the room was very beautiful, very spacious. It had got a big double bed and there was also a couch come bed, which was extra. The room was very huge. I, all my luggage I could fit in properly, pack, unpack. The bathroom was so good, you know, very clean. And the housekeeping staff was so good, you know. You just have to tell them that you want the room clean and they do it perfectly. So a very clean room, very clean bathroom, very good facilities. And now the best part of this hotel, the restaurant. Uh, it had uh, included breakfast uh, in the price. So uh, from eight to 10 is the breakfast time. And my God, the staff at the restaurant is so amazing. There were two or three ladies who were there. They used to serve you everything. You ask for coffee, you ask for juice, you ask for tea, you ask for anything, anything gets finished, they would immediately refill it. And they have a variety in the breakfast. They have got eggs, butter, bread, olives, different kind of cheese, fruits. And they have got traditional Turkish two, three dishes. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, they, they were orange juice, uh, uh, honey, jams, I mean you name it, I mean uh, whatever you like to have and even in the uh, fried stuff there were some kind of rolls, they have got some uh, small things uh, like sausages or beef made up of beef, uh, then they have got uh, poached eggs like scrambled eggs. Uh, there is option in eggs, either boiled eggs or scrambled or that they, they've called another dish called many mac, which is a tomato gravy. So they have got different options every day. The breakfast was excellent. The staff in the restaurant was very good, very cooperative, very helpful. Uh, my wife was unfortunately, she had throat infection last two days. But the staff at the restaurant looked after her so well, you know. They should serve her hot water, put honey, put lemon, uh, a special type of tea a bag, uh, which was good for the throat. You know, we did not even have to ask anything. They would come and refill it. They, and you know, uh, uh, the next day when we go to the restaurant, they know exactly what our problem is, what we would like to have, and they would refill it, you know. And they would keep and uh, help us and uh, uh, come to our table with the things you know so guys uh, my uh, experience uh, at the hotel banker hen uh, near galata please do visit it it's just excellent you will love it thank you i will continue my blog